and we continue reporting on Cuba. More than 200,000 electoral authorities in Cuba will take part in the constitutional referendum to be voted on Sunday. Citizens will decide on hundreds of amendments. Let's take a look at some of these. Cuba's National Organization of Lawyers has opened its doors for citizens to clarify any doubts regarding the constitutional reforms to be voted on this Sunday. Experts say people are asking most of the questions about same-sex marriage and the reforms in property laws. We explain to them that the Constitution is the law of laws, where the legal system of the country is outlined. We explain that everything is regulated in the Constitution, the state's principles and other general issues, but that this law does not address everything that society needs, and that is why we have precise laws to address specific issues. For voters who are still having doubts about the proposed constitutional reforms, they can find them on a wall exhibit like this. In normal election processes, it's normal to show the profiles of the candidates. During this referendum, we will show the constitution so that any voter that has a doubt can consult it before voting. The election material is being delivered to each municipal commission. On Sunday, electoral delegates took part in a dynamic test to make sure everything is ready. We can say that the dynamic test was positive. Little details that didn't work as we expected are already fully working. We have updated and delivered the voters' list and the ballot sheets. Over one million Cubans have debated the constitutional reforms for over three months by taking part on a popular consultation. The debates led to almost 60% of the constitution to be changed, reforms that were approved in December.